Hey everybody, welcome back to Heart Breathing. So I have a bonus video for you. <laughs> I'm gonna have like three videos this week, but this is gonna be all about the new Erin Condren products that I have received. So some of these are things that they graciously sent to me and some of them like this new Hello Kitty planner are things that I just literally had to have. I mean, gosh, you guys, this is just... This is my dream in my hands right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you some of that. I'll also share what's in the Hello Kitty box. So they had a special edition box. But first we're going to go over the new holiday collection, the gift collection that has just come out today. So let's dive into it. So one of the first couple of items that we have here is we have a gift shopping list pad. So this can go up on your desk and you've got a name, you've got the gifts you want to buy, the stores you want to visit. So it's just a repeated list pad that you could put in a clipboard or you could have on your desk for when you're starting to plan. You could even do... Um, like I was thinking when I was going through this, that instead of putting name and gift beside it, I would probably be like, this one is Andrew's sheet and then put all of his gifts here and then make a different sheet for George and a different sheet for Evie and all the people that I'm planning to buy like multiple gifts for. So that's really fun and it has a nice pattern. And this is actually perforated as well. So you could slip it into your wallet and just do it like this, or you could even go ahead and separate it so that you've got the names and the, the gifts. And then when you find out where you want to get them from, you could put this part in your wallet where you say, okay, when I'm at TJ Maxx, I need to shop for these. And when I'm at Ulta, I need to shop for these things. So it's a nice little gift list there that can sit on your desk. I will get grab links to these and put them into the description as soon as I can as soon as these go live on the website, which should be today as you guys are watching this. So another one is the Holiday Prep Petite Planner. So this is the Petite Holiday Planner. And I love this. It says, get it done to have some fun. And it's this really beautiful blue with sort of like a sunrise on it. It's really pretty. And you can see the same design kind of throughout so it explains to you how to use it. And then you've got some memory keeping stuff in here, which I think is such a really nice touch because it's got everything you need to plan for the holidays, but it also has things that you can look back on in years to come that you can say, oh, I remember when we did that, or I remember when we were planning that way. So it's got like, what am I looking forward to? What are my priorities? How will I practice self-care? And then you've got three monthly undated spreads. So if you wanted to, you could actually use this for multiple years. Like if you were just planning for Christmas or something like that, you could use this multiple years or you could use it for, you know, October, November, and December as you're getting ready for the different holidays. So you can really customize this and it doesn't even necessarily have to be Christmas. It can just be whatever holidays your family celebrates. So you've got in the background, that same design, like the sunrise design that's on the front is on the pages, just really light. So the first month is pink. And then in the monthly spreads, it has the month priorities, ways I can take care of myself and ways I can ask for help. And then you have a big to-do checklist here with a blank box at the bottom. You've got a place for family traditions and new traditions that you wanna start. This is important to me because I don't have a big family anymore like I did when I was growing up. And so I wanna create some of those magical moments for my kids. Plus we're in a new city. So if you know of any fun Dallas, like holiday traditions, let me know. Then you've got a place to plan out your decor, like the look and feel, what you have already that you want to use and what new stuff you want to buy, anything for the outside or the table and then different rooms. Then you've got gathering meal plan that has like the dishes, the guests, any kind of special like gluten allergies or anything, shopping lists and cooking schedule. And you've got two of those each month. Then you've got a space for the memory tracking, like looking back on funny memories and connections and what I'm grateful for. And that just repeats. So you've got kind of a gold or tan month. And then you have this sort of periwinkle month. And then once you get through those three months, you've got sort of the nitty gritty of gift buying. <laughs> so you've got a budget tracker here that you can track how much you've spent. Then you've got your holiday card planner. So you can prep your photo shoot and what everybody's going to wear and um, where you're going to buy your cards from. And then you've got a, a couple of pages here to write down who you're sending cards out to and what their addresses are. You also have a place for gift lists. So right here you have 
a list of all, like all the family, all the friends and any other categories like your work colleagues or the people at church or, you know, whatever you want to buy. And then on the next pages, you have the actual gift planner where you can say, you know, if you wrote down George, Evie, Andrew, you could put this is George, this is Evie, this is Andrew and each individual person and how much you spent on them. So that is here. That's like three full pages of that. Then you have a group gift tracker to see like if you have a group that's exchanging presents or, you know, things like that, you've got a space here for it. And there's a couple of pages of that. Then you've got your own wish list and price tracker for how much things are going to cost for you. And then gifts that you can order or gifts you want to mail out gifts you need to wrap, gifts you want to deliver, um, like, for example, any kind of baking or things you want to hand deliver to your neighbors, which I feel like over the past couple years has not been as much of a thing, but I always used to do that. So I'm looking forward to doing it again this year. Holiday baking tracker where you could say, oh, we're going to make cookies for this neighbor um, on one side, cookies for this neighbor on the other side. We're going to take these into Andrew's teacher, you know, whatever. So you can plan all of those holiday treats. Then you have just a divider here um, at the very end that has, or a page at the very end that just has some dot grid. And then you have a nice set of stickers that are in those same three colors with the days of the week here as well. So this is the petite planner for the holidays. Then they are also going to have gift sets. And <laughs> it's so funny because I feel like I have not properly, uh, like, I have not properly gotten it across to the Erin Condren team how obsessed I am with Hello Kitty because they never send me the Hello Kitty stuff. But they are going to have different gift sets. And these are going to be about $28.80, so just under $30 for a surprise kind of gift set. And one of them is going to be Star Wars themed. One of them is going to be Hello Kitty themed. There's a teacher gift set. And then there's a stationary gift set. And don't get me wrong, I am super happy and grateful to receive the stationary gift set. But it would have been nice to get the Hello Kitty one. So that might have to be a gift that I'm looking forward to from my husband. I'm gonna have to send him a message and be like, buy me this. So I haven't actually opened this yet because I kind of wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise, but the packaging is gorgeous. So it's always nice. Ooh, okay, so this is really cool. So you've got this beautiful purple box that you can actually set up on your desk as a desk organizer. So this is kind of neat. It's going to be hard to kind of show it exactly um, the way that I would. Let's see what's in here. So we've got a sticky note tabs. I'm guessing this is sticky notes. So I'm going to pull this open. Oh, that is so pretty. This is that, you know, floral design for the year in bloom. Okay. So these are sticky on the side here. Those are really pretty. And then you also have some kind of notebook here. So let's see what this one is. So this is just a, oh, it's a check like checklists. Okay. Well, this is really nice. So you've got bubbles that you can make like to-do lists or checklists. And then on the other side, it's just lined paper. So this is kind of similar to their productivity notebooks, but this is a brand new design that I have never seen from Erin Condren before. And this is super cool. So you could use this very much to do like if you're writing out what kind of project you're doing or um, and then you need to list the individual tasks that you can check off. That is nice. And this is just stunning. That is really beautiful. Then behind that, you have a weekly goals and priorities notepad. So this is not sticky. This is just um, something that you could put like on a clipboard. And so you put your priorities up here and then a to-do list. And then you can write any kind of other notes that you want there and it does fit inside this little box here is there anything else just double checking <laughs> and then in this final one you have some of the sort of dot markers that they have the checklist markers so you get a purple one and a gray one so it looks like this one is the circle and maybe this will be the asterisk. So you've got one that has the circle and one that has the asterisk. Now I will say with this, I have, I think all of these that they sell and I do really enjoy them, but sometimes these bleed through the paper. So you might want to be careful using these in your planner with like a heavy hand because they do kind of bleed through, but then you can also set this up on your desk 
as an organizer. So I'll put some photos in of this kind of setup like an organizer uh, when I have a chance to kind of play around with it a little bit. But I think that is very nice. And I'm very curious to see what comes in the Hello Kitty one. Um, but this is a very pretty box and it seems like it's pretty sturdy and it has some really pretty little gifts inside. So that is nice if you're looking for a stationary lover's gift. They also sent me, this is one of their new holiday collection covers and it's just so beautiful. So this is a snowflake design that is holographic and it just looks so nice with the silver coil. And then of course their life planner. And I have to tell you how funny this is because I was just starting to work on my time tracking and I've been trying to track in my A5 planner all of my stuff. And I just keep running into the desire to have my time tracked in a different planner. And so the hourly planner that I was using in 2022 for my social media planner, I moved my social media planning into my A5 binder. And then I have moved my time tracking into an hourly, but I didn't buy an hourly for 2023. And so imagine my extreme excitement when I got this gorgeous color blends hourly layout planner as a gift from Erin Condren for their holiday stuff. So this was very exciting. And to tell you the truth, I think planners make such a great gift for the holidays too. I have almost every year given Andrew's teachers, my sister who is a teacher, and some of my friends, Erin Condren planners, and they are always so crazy excited to receive it. So if you have someone special that loves to plan in your life, and I just love the colors of the color blend, and I like the font that they use for the months. So... I'm pretty excited to have this. If you haven't seen the hourly layout yet, it is really, really pretty. And then in the back, you do have some note pages and then you have this gorgeous sort of color blends ombre and the stickers in this one are probably my favorite of all the planners right now. Um, they're just, they're just so nice, except the Hello Kitty planner, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Another gift that they sent me in my box, and I was so excited to see this. This is one of those situations where I was like staring at the softbound life planners and thinking they're so beautiful, especially this Etta V design. I've started following Etta V on Instagram and just the color and vibrancy it just makes me so happy. Uh, and so I just love this design and I really wanted it, but I was also thinking, I don't know how I'm going to use it. <laughs> so I couldn't justify it, but then it came as a gift and I am so excited to come up with some ways. I think that this is going to become my gratitude journal for 2023. So the horizontal layout is in the softbound planner. So you can get the softbound planner in the large size in this size, which is A5. And then I think they do have it in a smaller size as well. And each one comes with different layouts. So if you get the eight and a half by 11, I think it is, that one comes with the vertical layout. And then the A5 softbound comes with the horizontal layout. And I feel like, I mean, look at how beautiful this is. It's so saturated and it's just beautiful. Um, every little detail of this is gorgeous. And I feel like it's going to take me a little bit of time to kind of like break in the spine because I want that to open all the way. But I, I know that once um, well, I've used their uh, softbound planners before, and I know that once you kind of break the spine in and you kind of hold it, it will open and lay flat, especially once you get a little deeper into the planner. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I just love this color. She's so talented. Just beautiful. I love this font too. January 2023, y'all. It is right around the corner. And then you've got the uh, horizontal layout. And I feel like this layout would be perfect for gratitude journaling. And I have been using an A5 coiled horizontal planner for 2022. So for 2023, I'm going to use this. And it's, it's just perfect because you could use this as your full planner as well. Don't get me wrong, but you could also use it for like notes or gratitude or memory keeper or anything like that. I just think it will serve that so well, serve that purpose so well. And just each of these monthly designs are so pretty and they have really nice quotes to them too. So this is what the 
horizontal A5 soft bound planner, it looks like. And now <laughs> I'm so glad that I have this because I really, really did want it. And then you have some just plain blank pages, like lined pages in the back, as well as a preview of 2024. Time is just trucking along and this beautiful coral kind of color here. So, and of course, because it's soft bound, it does move. This is the perfect kind of planner. If you really want a planner that you can throw in your bag and take with you around town, this one is so much better than this one. Now I love them both and I will actually carry my, I put the sleeve, like the planner sleeve over it. So I will carry this, but my bags end up being really heavy. But if you're looking for something that's not heavy that you can carry in, this would be a great alternative. Even if you had uh, both, you had this at home and then you added this to your planning, I think it would be nice. And I just, I just feel like this is gorgeous and I'm excited to use this. So you guys will see this again in my 2023 planner lineup. So I have a couple more items in the holiday collection. So we have actually three more things. So we have new packing cubes. I have to say, I love using packing cubes when I go on vacation and I have bought some from Amazon and then they've ripped or they haven't held up very well, but I have some of the Erin Condren ones. And so far they've held up really nicely. I also feel like the sizes are nice. Like these are nice and deep and look at this um, like animal print. I think this is really, really pretty. So you've got one sort of deep, big packing cube, and it does have the Erin Condren logo here and it has mesh on the top. Then you have kind of a, I don't know if this is a wet bag. I'd have to see like you could, yeah, you could probably put wet things in here if you wanted, or you could even put makeup in here or toiletries or anything like that. But you have this one big flat bag. And then you also have, in addition, a larger bag that also is really nice and deep. And for most of my traveling purposes, this would be all I would need. So once you open this up, like look how deep, deep this is. I feel like once you kind of push down your clothes and you, I can hardly get this in the frame you could fit pretty much a four day vacation in these things. You could put, yeah, I feel like you could fit everything you needed into these two. So now I have this and I have like a teal, um, light teal version of the Erin Condren. And I love to put different family members in different colors. So I'm anxious to see if these are coming out in any other colors besides this, but I do like the animal print for sure. And you could end up matching if you have the animal print for your cover of your planner, you could end up matching your planner when you go on vacation, which is really cute. Another thing that they sent is one of these ultimate planny packs in the new sort of neutral watercolor design. And I just think this is very pretty. So basically you put this on the top or you put the elastic band over the top of your planner and it holds it shut for you so that when you are, like if you wanted to take this with you in your bag, it holds it closed so that none of your pages get messed up, but it also serves as a great place to store all of your little stationary items that you wanna take with you. So you just unzip it and you open it kind of from the side here and you've got a place to put all your pins, your little sticky notes and other things. And then you can put more pins or you could put stickers or something in the front or washi tape. And it's the perfect way to just pull it down, pull your pins out. Um, these two don't exactly match each other <laughs> super well, um, but I do have some other ones that have a gold coil that this would look really nice on. So that's the ultimate planning pack. And I know that this comes in lots of different designs and the planning pack itself has gone through so many different designs and iterations that um, I kind of have a fondness for all of the different iterations, but I think that I like this one in terms of actual use the best just because it used to be that you would only open it from this side and then you kind of have to dig in to see what you have. But with this one, you kind of, nothing falls out, but you can easily access what you want to get. And I do appreciate that about this particular design of the fanny packs. And then this is another part of their holiday gift guide, which is an accordion zipper pouch. But unlike their other previous accordion zipper pouches, this one is much bigger. 
So in their previous accordion zipper pouches, they had, maybe they were more like this size. So you can kind of see a comparison there just by my hand. So they were maybe more like this and they had like six different compartments. This one has three compartments and it's they're much bigger. So you could fit, this would be great for travel too. So you could fit all of your underwear, all of your toiletries, and you could even fit like a pretty, maybe not a full size, but yeah, maybe you could even fit a full size shampoo and conditioner in here. And it feels like it's gonna be really nice and sturdy and that it's gonna be leak proof, although I can't guarantee that. I'm gonna have to test it to see because it's kind of this like nylon or canvas or something like that, but I think this is really nice and just the the ways that you could use this it, it, just like endless you could put washi tape in here you could put entire notebooks let me see if the petite planner fits in this yeah so you could put the entire petite planner in here so if you were going shopping for your holiday you could put the petite planner in one all of your cash in another and then all of your like washi tapes and pens and stuff to go planning there's endless opportunities for this so that is all of the gorgeous items that I got for the holiday collection. And I know, like I said, this stationary um, gift set is gonna come for Hello Kitty, Teacher, and Star Wars as well. So there's gonna be lots more than what I got. So definitely check out some of the other places or check out the website if you wanna see. Now, let me show you what I got in the Hello Kitty box so this wasn't exactly a surprise box because you could see on the site what was in it and i have already been using it <laughs> to be honest look how cute the design and the packaging is and over here on the flap it says hello kitty x erin condren and this did come inside a bigger box so that it didn't put any damage on this this uh interior box which i appreciated i don't know if that's the truth for all of them but also look how cute this little hello kitty rainbow is and this whole theme is very like cactus and rainbows and it's got this pretty peachy color to it so I'm not usually somebody who loves the color orange but the way that they have designed all this new Hello Kitty stuff I'm coming around to this color so one of probably my favorite item in here is this reusable coffee cup so this is um, dishwasher safe but do not microwave so this has a uh, obviously a little protector sleeve and it's got a reusable sort of like silicone top to it and then pour your coffee in and travel with care. So this is super, super cute on your desk, in your car, wherever you want to take it. Then there is a little notebook that came inside as well. And the pages actually have a little Hello Kitty in the corner and all of the pages have the same kind of coral peachy color. So you've got that. And then you also have some washi tapes. So these I think are super cute. So obviously I burned my hand last week. It was not serious. I know many of you have been asking about it. Um, it was not super serious. It was just the really the pads of my fingers got blisters on them. And this one still has a blister here. And then I had blisters here, but it has healed really quickly. And then I cut myself um, cooking the other night. So I've just been kind of a mess, but thank you for asking. I am doing much better. I wanted to just show you some of these washi tapes real quick. So we have the same design in like green and then also in, oh, it's a different design actually. Let me just swatch all of these out. Okay. So you have three different washi tapes. One of them is the peach with gold foiling. And then you have just the white with peach and white with green. And they are super, super cute. I love the little cactus theme. It's very nice. So you get those three washi tapes. Then you also get three sticky notes set. So you've got the Hello Kitty, the rainbow and the cactus with the bow. I mean, ah, oh, I just love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. And then finally, well, not finally, but you also get this. I love too. And I have to say, I don't know. I haven't looked to see if they're going to sell this again, like if you can buy this separately in the store, but I do have a lot of these sort of list pads that I have purchased because they have a lot of different stationery like this that you can put your name on or whatever in different designs in the store. And it, they're going to fit perfectly on this little clipboard and look how cute the clipboard is. It has 
it's kind of like that brown craft paper overlay and it's got the Hello Kitty and the rainbows and everything on here. I don't think there's any cacti on here, but it's so cute. And then you've got this little Hello Kitty and it says over the, and then you have the rainbow, which I think is super cute. And I have already started using it for different notes <laughs> upstairs in my gaming room. But the final thing is a set of Hello Kitty pins. And these do have like all the little Hello Kitties in gold foiling on all of the pins and so you have like a coral an orange blue yellow and sort of a sage green so here's what they look like kind of all swatched out and I think probably this even though it looks kind of peachy this one is more of like a raspberry color and I think I like this one the best and then it did come with a coupon code for 15% off your next order and then it tells you kind of what all is in here and I just think this was a really, really good box. And I feel like the value was definitely here for this item. I know that sometimes with like boxes, surprise boxes, gift boxes, whatever, sometimes you don't always feel like everything you're going to use or that all of it was worth it. But for me, this Hello Kitty box was 110% worth it. And I absolutely love it. So then we move to my own personal order also. This is my most recent personal order and I'm just gonna open these up real quick so you can see them. So this most recent order was not a huge order. This was just something that I was like, okay, I have to get the new Hello Kitty planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it when they have their stock up and save sale. So here's a few things that I got. These are new to the store and these are project planner pages for A5 binders. And I love the Erin Condren paper and I really like this design. So you've got project details, resources you need, as well as a checklist, start date, end date, and other important dates. And I feel like, so the back is just lined. I feel like these will be a good accompaniment to my HB90 plans that I can like really dive into the granular tasks that I want to put in here. And they do have the different colors. So that is nice. And I'm not sure how many there were in here, but this is a good amount of pages. So I would say at least I don't know, 50, 25 to 50. Then I also got these checklist pages. So this is what you would normally find in the teacher planner. And I find this to be really good for habit tracking and other things like that. So you've got the checklist page. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this finger is driving me crazy. And then on the back, there's another checklist. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, check boxes here. And then you've got, I don't know how many lines, probably 25 lines here, but I'm not going to take the time to count them. So you've got them on the front and on the back. And then in the back half of this set, you have which I'm probably most excited about in terms of all these little inserts, you have just checklist pages. And I think these are awesome. So this is like, if you have Sunday typical to-do list, or if you want your whole daily plan to just be a checklist, this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. This is perfect. So it's just checklists on four, four boxes of checklists on the front and back and in different colors. So I love this even more than I love these other checklists. And I just think they're great. Then I also grabbed this vegan leather Hello Kitty notebook. You can't change the coil color. I don't think on this, it's just, it comes as it is. It's gold and you can have it embossed, blind embossed with your initials. And then it's got the Hello Kitty on the front. And similar to some of the like Princess Leia Star Wars ones that they had released, this is just, I think maybe it was your choice of dot grid. I can't remember, but there's no Hello Kitty on the interior pages, which I was fine with, but I just love this. And I don't know what I'm going to use this notebook for because I already have a thousand notebooks, but I love it and I had to have it. And I just really, really appreciate, even though it's been a couple years since they changed it, I just appreciate how full they get these notebooks. They're just lovely. But da 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 da, on to literally my favorite thing I think I've ever bought from Erin Condren. And that is saying a lot because I love them. Hello Kitty Planner, y'all. I cannot believe this. Now, my only gripe about it is I wish that I could have changed this coil to like a rose gold or gold coil. You can't, you can't really customize this at all, except adding your name and you can change the color of this spread sunshine. But I'm not really complaining because I love it and I can always change the coil out myself if I want. So it comes with the standard sort of bookmark. And then this is the cover that comes on it. And you can always change this cover if you want to switch it out. 
this vellum overlay is to die for. It is the cutest little like farm fresh, happy sunflower, hello kitties. I, I just, I love it so much. And this little butterflies, whoever designed this props to you because it is absolutely adorable. And it's this nice thick vellum page. And the colors in this planner are slightly different than the regular Erin Condren planner, which I think is really nice touch as well. And I mean, look at this little Hello Kitty gardener. You guys, if you know me, you know that we have just moved on to multiple acres and I've been filling my house with plants. We have been decorating, you know, with flowers and plants and growing cantaloupes and zucchinis and all kinds of stuff outside. So to see this little Hello Kitty with her apples and her flowers just makes me so happy. And it says the future is bright. Then you have the 2023 year at a glance. You have um, the typical sort of 12 box Erin Condren page here, and then you start in on the months and <laughs> just the details of like this little Hello Kitty head here in the flower. Be nice, be kind, repeat, or be kind, be nice, repeat. It's like very Hello Kitty themed sayings on these pages. And I just, I cannot even express my joy. So you do have Hello Kitty on the monthly pages as well. And each month is a different design and then the patterns repeat. So you've got her on this dashboard page as well, but then you don't have Hello Kitty on the weekly spread. So I kind of understand why they did that because most people use the weekly spread to like put a bunch of stickers and stuff. But I do kind of wish since the whole planner otherwise has Hello Kitty that they had just put one, like even if it was just a bow on the December, you know, on the words or something, I wish there was some hint of Hello Kitty on the actual weekly pages, but I will add her, believe me, I can put, <laughs> put some Hello Kitty stickers in here, but it's the colors really that make it unique. And I just think it's really lovely. So then you move into February and the notes page again has a little Hello Kitty cherish happy moments. And the monthly spread has her on there as well as the dashboard. And then again, weekly pages that don't have Hello Kitty, but then you've got her on these pages. So each of these uh, kind of the pattern sort of repeats, but the sayings change for every month. But I mean, y'all, I just love it. I love it. Let me just kind of walk you through them, celebrate the little things. May is, this is probably my favorite months. Anything is possible. This design with the Hello Kitty with the hearts in her eyes, I just think is so cute. So you've got that. Then you've got say yes to new adventures. And then we start to repeat, except the saying is different, but the design itself kind of goes um, in a like four month pattern. So we've got those. Then we've got the yellow again, and then the orange again, and then the green and the blue. And I <laughs> just love it. Then when you get to the notes pages, this is where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. The detail that they put into these notes pages. Look at how cute this is. The Hello Kitty behind the sunflower. And then you've got more notes pages over here. And each one is different. I want a whole notebook just full of this Erin Condren. My husband was like, how many of these are you going to buy so that you could get these notes pages? I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't do that because then I'd be wasting too many of the extra planner pages. But if they ever release a full notebook just of this, I'm going to be super happy. So like, see how this Let's Keep in Touch page just has this little winking Hello Kitty. I wish that was on the weekly spreads too, but I'm not going to complain. 2024 overview and then the best like ending page of all time. It is the super cutest ever. I love it. I will keep it forever. Even if they only have a 2023 Hello Kitty planner, I will take this page out and I will add it to my future planners because I love it that much. And then the stickers are beautiful. So you've got gold foil stickers here. Then you've got more gold foiling here that has like the habit trackers with the rainbows and just their typical ones, but they've got all got Hello Kitties on them. Then you've got your happy birthdays and the celebrates are Hello Kitties with the rainbow. You've got Hello Kitty poking outside the cake. Like I just, oh my gosh, y'all. And then the page flags are silver foiled and they have like mushroom and just some of the different design elements from inside the planner. And I'm hoping that they will sell those stickers separately so I can get a whole pack of them. And then the beauty of this gorgeous matte gold foiled folder. I love it. 
And I do reuse folders when I Franken plan stuff. So I am obsessed with this and it just feels so nice and it's so beautiful and sturdy. And then of course you've got the kind of whiteboard here on the back with the repeated pattern there. So that is my exciting Erin Condren haul. So much stuff. Like I said, some of this was gifts and some of it was things that I purchased on my own. Uh, I cannot wait to share with you guys my 2023 planner lineup because I think that it's going to be a good one. I am definitely still using multiple planners next year, but I am going to simplify some things too, um, or at least I had planned on it. But now all these extra Erin Condren releases, I feel like might mess up my simplification plans because I'm like, let's just add more <laughs> more planners on. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the sneak peek at all of the new holiday gift guide, the Hello Kitty stuff. There's just amazing new stuff coming out. They just this week also released a new office supply stuff, which include like some lap desks and some uh, like organizers for your desk. There's so many amazing products coming out and really this team has worked so hard. And I just wanted to say a special thank you to Samantha and Tori for supporting us and for continuing to send these things out to me. It just means a lot and I love being a part of the team. I've had several requests from people since I live in Dallas now to make the drive to Austin to go to an Erin Condren store during NaNoWriMo. So let me know if you would like to see that, if you think that would be fun. It would be a little bit of a drive for me, but I've never been to the actual physical store. So I think that would be really cool. So I will include pricing and lists and links down below as much as I can. Thank you for hanging out for the last half hour. I super love you guys. And I will see you in Sunday's video where we will continue Preptober talking about series and multiple POV characters. All right. Love you guys. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.